everybody, it's Brian from Less Magic More Gathering, and uh, we have completed round one of Set Booster for Dungeons & Dragons Battle Pack, uh, so we're just going to jump right into round two, and that's how we're going to do it. we got eight more uh, commenters up here, um, so I'm going to do a drawing for those, get those five for this round, and then we will work on hopefully getting uh, another couple more to finalize the last round as well. So without doing a whole lot of talking, I already have them put up here. I left them up there for last time, if you can see the names down below that. So right here where my arrow is. I'm going to highlight this section. That's going to be the ones we're going to choose for um, uh, the next this coming round. And then down here is the, the uh, four that did not win. The winner is over here. I'm just separating so that I know because at the end I'm going to do a drawing for people that didn't win. So, uh, yeah, too easy, right? So I'm going to put my camera up here real quick so I can show you what number we're going to have. we got out of nine, space nine and 16. Nine to 16 is the space that we're working with. So you can see it right there. It's fairly clear. It's going to zoom in here just a second. There we go. So fairly clear. We're going to go ahead and hit it to see what block we're going to be on. 14. So we're going to be on block 14. I'll move my this spot guy up here to block 14. And we'll do the randomize three times. First person in the block is who we're getting. So on and so forth. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's get to it. We got one. We got two and then we got three all right mpg strategist is going up first first position paste i'm gonna cut these two guys next i'm gonna bring i'm gonna bring it down let's do that so we keep it a little more kind of in the same zone so you leave the spot the same and then i'm going to do three here as well one two and three tommy goal Next up is Tommy Goal on spot number two. I'm gonna drop it down one more time. Let's do it again. I'm gonna fill these slots real quick. Hopefully, there's one, uh, two, and then number three for this spot. Archangel Elf didn't look like he moved much, but hey, whatever. Gets him in there. Spot number three, and I put everybody up there again. I tend to do that a lot. We're going to undo that. Try this again one more time. Cut the single name. You can do it. There you go. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's do two more of these. We got one, two, and who's it going to be? XX. All right. We got XX for spot number three or four, I mean. And then our last and final spot, we're going to head and move from the bottom up this time. It doesn't really matter, I guess, at this point, because it's almost kind of even. But we're going to do one more spot for, out of these four. We've got randomized one, two, and final spot for this round is going to be Seth Williams. All right, Seth Williams going in spot number five. All right, so these three are up for the next, they're, they're guaranteed the next turn. But if I don't get two more comments, two more new commenters by, I think, Friday, I'm trying to get these done in a week. I don't want to push this three weeks for a whole box opening. That's kind of ridiculous. So uh, if I don't get two more commenters, newer commenters, I will take those that did not win, and we'll give them another go around. Kind of, I mean, it, it, it's just kind of heavy how it is. got to fill the slot somewhere. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. But without continuing to talk for hours on end, let's go ahead and check out the cards in the box and get these things cracked. What do you think? I'm down for it. Let's crack some packs. <clears throat> All right, here we are. So we are we're getting ready to do some more packs, and I just want to show these cards. These are up for grabs. Um, if you need to pause the video to zoom in on them, uh, you, you can. I can run through them real quick. Prismatic Ending, Laboratory Maniac, Morag, Fury of Akum. Uh, the showcase version, Power of Heroes, Extend Art Foil. Then we got Maelstrom, Archangel, Admonition Angel, Rune, Tail, Kitsune, Ascendant, uh, Myojin of Life's Web, and Kiga, Kaiga, the Tide Star. So that's what's available. Sanctum Weaver was picked by Mikwechi. He's like, I'm taking that one. So um, those are still available um, for this round to choose, whoever wins this round. And then we will show the rest later. So this time I'm going to do something a little different. Last time I just could randomly... Uh, you know, stacked them around and kind of picked them throughout the thing. But this time I'm going to just start, I'm going to pull this first pack out here. That one is MTG Strategist. This one is Tommy Goal. I'm turning it over so that they'll be on the top when they get to that point. And this one is going to be Archangel Elf. XX here. I'm just randomly, if you can see the box, I'm just pulling randomly out of here. 
and then Seth Williams is here. So there is stack number one. So now we're going to do it again, but I'm going to go backwards so that they just go back in order. So I'm just going to back through. Seth's going to do two packs in a row. So that's going to be his right there. And then to XX, then Archangel Elf, then Tommy Goal, and then MT Strategist will have the last pack for this video. So it's kind of a back and forth thing. So first one. I stack them now because that was the one on top. So now they're stacked. Now they're going to go in exact order, but it's going to, like I said, it's going to go backwards. So I'm not going back from the beginning. It's going backwards, if anybody understands that. All right. So now that I've explained just a little bit on that, well, let's go ahead and get into the first pack because we're five minutes deep. But no packs are cracked. There's a lot of talking because I do that. I'm a talker. Ooh, we have a list card. Strategist. List card starting out strong. What is the art series card for strategist? It is Circle of Dreams Druid. So there's the Circle of Dreams Druid. Cool. I dig it. And then we've got an Alland. We've got Owlbear Showcase. Nothing wrong with them showcase. These are actually really neat. They're just kind of, they're, they're, they're very unique in their own way for being showcase. I like them. I think they're pretty cool. And then we've got, I'm going to skip past. Like I said, I'm not too worried about talking about the uh, commons. Dungeon Map. Get you, get you, get you some venturing in there with the dungeon map. You know, you got to venture a little bit here and there. Purple worm, blue dragon. Ooh, back to the commons. You get a couple of those in a row. It seems to be a thing to do. And then our rare is going to be, boom! Black staff of water deep. The black staff of water deep. I don't even know what the heck that is. Legendary artifact. I want to read it because it sounds cool. So for this bad boy, we've got uh, Black Stuff of Waterdeep is a legendary artifact. You choose one drop. You may choose not to untap the Black Stuff of Waterdeep during your untap step. Animate walking statue. Pay two, tap it. Another target non-token artifact you control becomes a four-four artifact creature for as long as the Black Staff of Water Drop remains tapped. Activate only as a sorcery. Oh, okay, cool. So you can keep something out there for a while as long as you don't want to untap it. But if you tap it, then it goes bye bye. And we devour intellect for our foil and our list card. What are we going to get? <laughs> Quests of, for the Holy Relic. That is from Zendikar. Uh, an enchantment. Let's go ahead and read it because it's something new. Something new, at least for me. I, I think I've seen some of the quests, but I've not seen this one. Quests for the Holy Relic enchantment. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you may put a quest counter on Quest for the Holy Relic. Remove five quest counters from Quest for the Holy Relic and sacrifice it. Search your library for an equipment card, put it on the battlefield, and attach it to a creature you control, then shelter your library. Ah, not bad. Get you some artifacts without having to play them a lot. I mean, that has to stay on the field long enough to to, uh, to bulk up, but it's still pretty cool. I like it. All right. So let's go ahead and check out the totals for MTG Stratus first pack. Well, that's a bummer. Uh, unfortunately, nothing was really worth uh, higher than 75 cents. Black Staff of Waterdeep was actually only worth 35 cents, but I felt like I should at least give him 50 cents uh, just so that it doesn't look completely horrible. Uh, <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, that is the first pack. Uh, going right on into the next one for Tommy Gold. Ugh. Let's hope they get a little better than that. That was, that was ugly. Oh, another list card, though, so we'll take that. Take a back-to-back -back list card. No stamp foils yet. Still working on that. Forest of Pyotr Dura. Pyotr Dura? Pyotr? Like Peter in Russian? I don't know. Got Baleful Beholder Showcase. Alright. Let's see. Come on. Can we get something nasty? We got a lot of blue cards in this one. A lot of blue cards. Grim Wanderer for Uncommon. Can we get some clarity here? Let's see. Let's see. What do we got here? There we go. That's beautiful. You meet in a tavern. Who do you meet in a tavern? I don't know. We'll find out one day. Prosperous Innkeeper. And a common. Oh my gosh, it's impossible. Ooh! Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Dun dun dun! So, somebody had this to me. I was playing last night in the arena, and I had not seen this card before. But I was like, you gotta be crapping me. Each opponent exiles cards from the top of their library until that player exiles cards uh, with total mana value 20 or more. So essentially, if you're playing somebody that's low drop game, they're, they're toast. 
Like, there's no way they're going to keep up. But you're still going to get rid of a lot of stuff, even if they have a bunch of larger drop creatures or larger drop spells. It's just like, man, this is ridiculous. That's a really cool card, but it's so annoying because uh, I think when they were playing, they played blue-red, and they played something that allowed the copy. So they essentially hit me for my whole deck in, like, two turns. It was kind of dumb. But whatever, it is what it is. Oh, we do have another Mythic back here as well. So we've got <laughs> Old Gnawbone Non-Borderless. That's two Old Gnawbones out of this box so far. One was a Borderless, and then this one's a regular one. So... Right now, Tommy Gold's got a pretty good lead. Uh, I'm going to say, because this is not going to be 35 bucks like the Borderless was, but it's definitely going to be probably at least 10 15 bucks. So, pretty good hit there. And then we've got a Foil Common, of course. Feign Death. And let's see what our list card is. It's got to be better than that last one. Now, by the way, the last one's only 30 cents. Trash. Boom! Undead Slayer. Uncommon from M10, from 10, uh, Magic the Editor in 2010. Super excited for those. So far, the list cards are trash. But, I mean, you really can't expect them to be all, like, $60 cards or anything. But they got to be better than what they've been. Trash! All right, let's see where his tally is after hitting the old gnawbone. <clears throat> well, that's definitely one way to pick up the pace. So, it was a lot more than 15 bucks. It was turned out it was $27 for old gnawbone. So, right now, old gnawbone out of this box is winning the battle pack rounds. The old gnawbone from the last round of the borderless version... Definitely won that for uh, McWedgie, and then this right now is giving Tommy Gold a pretty decently at thirty-three dollars and eighty-one cents. The uh, Tasha's hidden l laughter, uh, or hideous laughter, was like six and a half dollars, so not bad. But it's a heck of a pack. <laughs> Sweet, right? I mean, it's pretty darn good. All right, so moving right along, Archangel Elf is up. We do not have a list card this time, but we do have a cool art series card. Non gold stamp. Den of the bugbear. Oh my goodness, not the bugbear. No freaking way. And a mountain. And an arbor arborea pegasus showcase. Pegasi. We've got druid class. What you think of that druid class? It's pretty sweet, right? Pretty sweet. Trying to get to zoom in a little bit. Uh, Gretchen Titchwillow. Hey, Gretchen, what's up, girl? Sudden Insight. Sorry, that card went a little high. Another Uncommon. Prosperous Innkeeper. That's not a bad card. It's not quite 75 cents, but it's close. And our first rare is going to be... Booyah! Sorceress Class. Sorcerer Class. Sorceress Class. All right, what do we got behind door number two? A Mythic! Demelich! Ugh! Demlich, Lach. I guess it's maybe pronounced in a German slang. Maybe uh, Demlich. Oh, I'm throwing stuff everywhere. But I'm going to go with Demlich. So this one's a pretty good one. I got one of these earlier and I think one of the pre-releases I opened. So I was pretty happy to get that. So that's two of them. Mythic Rare. Four drop creature skeleton, whizzle, skeleton wizard. This spell costs one smile and less to cast for each instant sorcery spell you've cast this turn. Nice. Whenever Demlich attacks... Uh, exile up to one target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. Copy it. You may cast the, the copy. You may cast Demlich from your graveyard by exiling four instant and or sorcery cards from your graveyard in addition to paying its other two costs. Or its other costs. Nice. That's pretty decent mythic rare right there. And then we got Great Axe Foil and a Skeleton Dungeon Token. Alright, so I don't think it's enough to catch $33, but it's still going to be pretty close. So Tommy Gold Archangel may have a battle going into the second pack. So let's see what Archangel has for his total and move on to the next pack. Alright, uh, not too bad of an attempt. It didn't quite catch up to uh, the old knob on pack, but still, nonetheless, the Demi Lake was... Uh, 13 17 13 bucks and then the sorcerer class was a buck so i threw that on there as well because it's up for 75 cents so 14 17 for archangel off for pack one uh and let's get into the next one for xx the list card no we got a nothing card this might be a token let's just take a peek really quick nope filler card get rid of it you meet in a tavern. We've seen that before, only this one's in the art version. A mountain. We've got a mountain. Oh, we have a mountain. We have one mountain. We have a bullet. I think that's how you pronounce it. Bullet. Bullet. I don't know. Bullet, maybe? I'm going to guess it's something else, because I can't ever pronounce this stuff right. Mordek Hackens. <laughs> Mordek. Mordek. What is it? Mord. 
Mordenkainen. Mordenkainen. We've got cleric class, a clerical class. We got Trelasara Moon Dancer. Trelasara Moon Dancer. So we got a Moon Dancer. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? Moon Dancers have to be legit, I would think. Boom, an elf cleric. Lurking Roper. And some commons. Elgard Ranger. And then another uncommon. Wandering Troubadour. Wandering Troubadour. And our rare is going to be... Boom! Gelatinous Cube. Quib. I'm going to pronounce it Quib. Gelatinous Quib. We got a common showcase. Clattering Skeletons foil. So that's pretty cool. Nothing too exciting, unfortunately. So I'm hoping maybe the Gelatinous Cube will give him a buck or two. If not, you might be getting the old 50 cents ringer. 50 cent ringer also there, XX. Let's go ahead and jump in there and check out see what the value of this pack was. <clears throat> I wish I could do the uh, Price is Right, You Just Overbid or You Just Lost thing. Something like that. But anyways, so the Gelatinous Cube was the best card in that pack, and it was sitting actually at 50 cents, so I didn't have to uh, jump up and give him uh, an additional uh, support for that, since it was already 50 cents anyway. <laughs> All right. Bummer. All right, Seth Williams going on to pack number five for the first or second round of this set boosters, and pack one for Seth. Let's see what they pull out of here. Looks like a filler card. Oh yeah, get rid of that stuff. Boom! Oh dang, no no gold stamp. I'm I'm bound not to get one of these. Magic missiles. Magic missile. Forest. Borrow one of Clan Endure showcase. And then some commons. Common one. Common two. Common three. And then into the uncommons. We got a Schoolport Merchant. Kalane Reclusive Painter. Displacer Beast. Let me get this back in the camera so you guys can see it. And a common card. Another common card. And a rare is going to be... Badoom! Asmodeus the Archfiend. Osmodius. Asmodeus, like, oh my gosh. Osmodeus the Archfiend, legendary devil god. Boom. Six drop. Binding contract. If you would draw a card, exile the top card of your library face down instead. Pay three swamps, draw seven cards. Oh my gosh. Pay one swamp, return all cards exiled with uh, Asmodeus the Archfiend to their owner's hand, and you lose that much life. Yuck. What do we got here? Oh, it's just a common foil. Another showcase foil, though. Manticore. Not too bad. I'm not sure what that guy's worth. I have not really seen or heard him. I haven't done a lot of research, so he might be worth a buck. But we could have another stinker, stinker pack for Seth Williams. Let's check it out. Well, it wasn't quite an, uh, an exact stinker. It was worth a buck, so it wasn't 50 cents. But still, stinker pack. So, so far, we've got three stinker packs. Quality of $2 in value for three packs. That hurts the soul. Luckily for us, we did have a $33 pack, so whatever. All right, continue the pace. Seth Williams, pack number two. Like I said, we're going right back the other direction. We're not starting back at the top. We're just going right back the other direction. And a lister. We're bound to get a stamp. Are we going to get a stamp? Oh, my gosh. I just want one, folks. But we do get this kind of cool thing. This is Dryder. So we get Dryder, that cool-looking art right there, and then the information card behind it pretty cool i like those i'm digging those i said that once before Ooh, and a foil forest like me the foils shiny foily manticore non-foil showcase got that that's pretty cool uh windfall unexpected windfall something else wizard class holy hog nuts <laughs> wizard class there we go that's pretty cool magic missile Iron Golem. Common card. You hear something on the watch. On watch. Another common card. You find a cursed idol. Oh my gosh. And our rare is... Boom! Eye of Vesna. Another stinker. But do we have... An uncommon foil back here. Oh my gosh. Check for traps. Super exciting. And a token wolf in the back. Well, Seth, uh, you might be stuck at two bucks, less than two bucks, because I don't think I, I have Vesna's worth more than, it might be worth 75 cents. 
sucks. But we're going to check it out anyway. Alrighty. Oh yes, good old Aya Vesna pumped you up to a dollar ninety nine. Well, it was a it was a valiant effort, Seth Williams, to try to catch that thirty three dollar mark at that Tommy Gold set, but nonetheless, you failed. <laughs> XX, here we go. You've got to we got to try to get everybody past the buck, right? That's really the the key to this mild victory for these low ended packs. Oh, no gold stamp. Come on, that's a pretty cool dog though. Big old wolfy looking thing right there. That is going to be ooh, that's a blink dog. It's got the the stats, the stat sheet back there. We got a foil mountain. Racking up them foil lands. I'm digging it. Clattering skeletons showcase. Cool. Cool. Couple commons. Rust monster. Can't go wrong with the old rusties. Bag of holding. Portable hole! That's like a buck and some change. At least it's a decent decent value done common. We'll set that aside because it's going to be worth something. And Rally Maneuver. Another uncommon. Boom! Druid class. Oh, we're racking up the uncommons. It's got to be a rare here. Oh, yeah, it's totally rare. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Skeletal Swarming. I'm not sure how good it is. It's an enchantment. It's a black-green enchantment. Good for my soon-to-be elf commander deck. Uh, each skeleton you control has trample. No, not so much, unless I turn a lot of skeletons. <laughs> uh, attacks each combat of Fable and gets a plus X plus zero, where X is the number of uh, other skeletons you control. Ooh. At the beginning of your end step, create a tapped 1-1 one -one black skeleton creature token. If a creature died this turn, create two of those tokens instead. Yeah, You can really get crazy on the token build, that's for sure. And we got a foil hawking bugbear. Hawking bugbear. Along with our spider token in the back there. So I'm not sure. Um, the portable hole is no, about a buck and some change maybe. I'm not sure exactly how much it is. Skeletal might be worth something. One of these other uncommons could have some value. I don't know. I can't remember. I haven't looked at all of them yet. So let's go ahead and check it out see if uh, XX got over the $2 mark. All right. Well, it got him above 2 bucks only because I added the uh, skeletal swarming um, in there. I shouldn't have because it was not $0.75. Cents, but, you know, at this point, it's not going to help him win anyway. So... But it was $0.62 cents for that. Portable hole was $0.99, cents, so that bumped them up to $2.11. Uh, congratulations, you also had a stinker pack. So, so so far we got two stinker packs, two double packs, two horribly double packs, but two good two good single packs. So let's see. Archangel is going to need some work, need some help, need something big to catch Tommy Gold to where he, Tommy Gold gets nothing and can't keep up. Let's see. What is Archangel going to have? No list card, so no extra bonuses back there. He's going to need to really pull one... He's gonna pull something out of his butt, his bunghole, his big, his, his poop shoot, whatever you call it. Faraday, Devil's Chosen for the art card. An island. Ooh, that one's pretty cool. I haven't seen this one yet. Temple of the Dragon Queen. I believe that's the Dragon's Lair. Uh, I forget what version it is. Pretty cool though. I've only gotten Evolving Wilds, and I think I got Den of the Bugbear one like this. But this is the first one like I've got of this. So cool. Temple of the Co Drag Dragon Queen. It's a pretty good keep. Pretty good hit right there, I think. I like it. And then we've got Targ, Nar, Demon Fang, Ganoli. Or just Noel. Uh, G is silent, I believe. Ray of Frost. Red Dragon. A common card. And a rare is going to be Flump. Good old Flump. Two drop jellyfish defender flying when Flump. Flump is dealt damage. You and target opponent each draw a card. Nice. And we've got another rare back here. Pow! Instrument of the Bairds. The Bards. The Bairds. I don't say Bairds. Bards. Instrument of the Bards. Legendary artifact. Let's go ahead and read this puppy. We've got a one drop. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a harmony counter on Instrument of the Bards. Pay for, search a library for a creature card with a mana value equal to the number of harmony counters on instrument of the bards. Rev reveal it and put it into your hand. If that card is legendary creature, your legendary, create a treasure token, then shuffle. Ooh. Got a common foil! <laughs> Dawnbringer Cleric. And to go with our filler card. Get out of here. Alright, no, I don't think it's going to help Archangel catch uh, Tommy Gold there, but still some good stuff. Got a couple rares out of that pack. Let's go ahead and tally it up and see what we got. 
Well, you definitely didn't get any help at all from that pack trying to catch Tommy Ghoul. You did get this Queen, uh, Temple of the Dragon Queen card, which is worth $1.19. That was the top one in the pack. Those two rares, trash, but that's okay. They're still good cards. I'm pretty sure they hold some quality. Having that jellyfish in your deck would probably do some do some wonders for you if you got it set up correctly. Not too bad. All right, Tommy Ghoul, you don't really need any help, but let's just see what it pulls out of this pack. Uh, Strategist is the, uh, the only other person that could try to catch you. Um, and he's going to need something extremely awesome to squeeze past 33. Oh, and Tommy Gold's got a list card. Doesn't mean anything. They've all been trash anyway. Let's see. No stamp. Still no stamp. It's a Hydra card of sort, though. Lair of the Hydra art card. Good do. Well, I was going to say something else, but I didn't want to copy somebody else's work. He does with more excitement than I do. Kaboom! Swamp. Rhymes Shield Frost Giant Showcase. Secret Door. Alright. Displacer Beast. Uncommon. Blink Dog. Wild Shape. A common card. You come to a river. Holy crap. That's a pretty exciting adventure. Uncommon card. Moon Blessed Cleric. Moving right on to our rare. It is going to be Kaboom! Orcus, Prince of Undeath. What's up, Orcus? He's an X cost. Double X. Actually, I thought it was single X. Two and two other colors. Black and red. <sighs> Legendary Creature Demon Flying Trample. When Orcus, Prince of Undeath, enters the battlefield, choose one. Each other creature gets a minus, minus, minus X, minus X until I'm turned. Uh, you lose X life. Return up to X or return up to X creature cards with total mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. You gain they gain haste until a turn. All right, you can, I can see that being pretty. Holy crap! You know what? That's gonna have to go in my commander deck. Return up to X dark creature cards with total mana X value from what or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. They gain haste until a turn. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, he's got to go in there. So mine's a black red deck, and I'm most of the time gonna find a way to get tons of creatures in my graveyard. Hopefully, they don't get nixed. But being able to play this uh, when he comes in the field to play, uh, pretty neat. I mean, could be could be useful. Could be useful. I'll keep that in mind. Then we've got Faraday, a Devil's Chosen foil. Pretty cool. Multicolored uncommon there. I like those. And then what is our list card going to be for Tommy Gull? It's an older one. Oh! Phoenix, God of Deception. All right, so we went out and got a God list card. Mythic Rare God. Oh, okay. Now, Phoenix, I don't remember it being that great. I mean, it's a good card if you put the deck together with black and blue. But I can't remember if this is the one that... Hold on, let's read it. I could be wrong. So, 5-drop black and blue God. Instruct, as long as your devotion to blue and black is less than 7, Phoenix is the creature. Creatures you control have tap. Target player puts the X cards of his or library in the graveyard of X. Okay, this is the nasty one. So, I've seen a lot of people playing Phoenix with this before, being able to tap and just making them, you know, mill cards. Uh, it's pretty ugly. So, uh, I don't have this one in my commander deck. It's, it's a mill deck that I'm doing. It's got black and blue. I'll probably put it in there just for simple facts. It's not going to be my commander. Um, but then again, I don't know. I mean, I've, somebody's already done this with commander before, so who knows? I mean, I'm, I made my own little version up and I haven't put it all together, but still. Not a bad hit. Uh, I don't think Tommy Golan needed any help. Uh, this might only be worth a couple bucks. I'm not sure what it was going at original from uh, Born of the Gods, but nonetheless, pretty good hit. Uh, gonna have to take it. For what's worth, and see what uh, Tommy Gold's value turns into after this pack. All right, well, it's not like he really needed the help, but the uh, Phoenix uh, God of Deception was actually like a nine dollar card, uh, nine thirty seven, and the Orcus Prince of Undeath is ninety five cents. So I tallied it up, add to it, forty four thirteen is what he ended up with for round two. Both of his packs tallied up, not quite enough to catch. McWetchie's total his was 47 something but still two two uh, contestants in the 44 range now doesn't mean that strategist can't catch him because I think if I land a Tiamat borderless by sheer chance like I think that'll definitely beat him um, a regular Tiamat I don't know if it's 40 bucks 45 dollars is what he's gonna probably need 44 dollars essentially to win but I don't think that's gonna be possible I mean if I get it I get it. that's great but we'll see um, all right so going right on into it no list card, so no extra bonus. Just a zombie, zombie, just a zombie. Oh, no stamp, man. I don't, I'm beginning to think they don't exist. Mountain, a mountain. So we got a mountain, big picture of a mountain, and a swamp. A pixie guide showcase. In case we haven't seen that yet, I don't remember. 
couple commons and then into the class card seems to be the going right to here warlock class uh, Shis Shizra death's whisper power world power word kill power word play goblin morning star another uncommon reaper's talisman and then our rare or mythic is going to be rare boom long rest nothing but a long rest a common foil kick in the door and that's it don't think it's going to do it i don't think long rest rare is going to catch tommy goal but let's go ahead and tally it up real quick and see where we finish <clears throat> well sometimes you win some and sometimes you lose some and sometimes you just you might as well not even played so we technically had three people do that this time around we had seth williams xx and mtg strategist got absolutely nothing out of their two packs um some cards that are playable probably in the in the standard realm and probably can be used in modern i'm sure they're very decent playable cards regardless just not very high on value right now um but you're gonna get that so was, he didn't even get a 75 cent card out of either of those two packs so there's only 40 cents i threw 50 in there so even about to a dollar um for his turn for his round um for his two packs i guess you say so tommy goal is the winner uh he gets to choose from the cards that were available at the beginning of the video um and then we will hope to get a few more uh comments to get a total of five players for the last and final round of the set booster box uh and then we'll just go from there uh so congrats to the winner thanks for everybody participating and it's not too bad i mean if you look at the price uh 64 bucks for these 10 packs 73 for the last 10 packs 138 total so far out of a box i still have 10 packs to open so i mean not bad you can't complain um old gnaw bone is uh, in in it to win it so if i pull an old gnaw bone foil or borderless foil out of the next pack next 10 packs obviously it was meant to be in this box uh, so nonetheless that was pretty exciting uh it's not as exciting i guess as, as, a, as a collector booster box but we'll have those coming down the road eventually one of these days uh, i just got to save up some money because uh, they get kind of pricey uh, but thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next video deuces <laughs>